particular skill is measuring uh, rectal temperature. Uh, this is a very important skill uh, that um, all athletic trainers should be fully prepared to do in the event of any type of significant uh, either increase or decrease uh, temperature situation, so either a hypo or a hyperthermia a scenario. Generally, hyperthermia is going to be our more greater risk. Uh, so an athlete is participating in a, a very hot environment, we would want to make sure that we're able to um, uh, appropriately do this technique. Uh, this is why this particular technique is very important. When athletes exercise, uh, the two primary ways that we actually measure temperature are either orally or through our axillary. Uh, so you either take a temperature and you kind of put it in their mouth or you uh, put it uh, essentially other, under their armpit. Uh, however, in athletics, uh, athletes are breathing repetitively so there's airflow going in and out of their mouth, which is uh, creating a cooling effect in their mouth, as well as they're sweating profusely, which is creating a cooling area on the surface of the skin. So both in the mouth and in the armpit, those are actually two of the cooler spots on the entire body. So if you try to do a, a measurement of core body temperature, you're not gonna get an accurate representation. So the only true accurate way in order to get a uh, core body temperature is to do it actually rectally. Uh, so we want to be fully prepared to be able to do that and in the event that uh, their temperature is elevated we would want to actively cool them down and uh, you can learn that in the uh, cold water immersion uh, video um, uh, that's supplied. So our particular athlete here has demonstrated symptoms of hyperthermia which means they're ex excessive sweating, uh, they are dizzy, maybe nauseous, uh, many times they've got a substantial headache, they feel fairly woozy, so they're indicating uh, that they've got um, some problematic um, areas. Uh, they could actually even transpire all the way into a heat stroke situation where their skin might turn very, very, very hot, red and hot, uh, they might act violently, uh, all different signs and symptoms of um, an elevated uh, temperature. So we want to make sure that we find out what that temperature is so that way we can make sure that we actively cool them. So uh, you can do rectal temperature in a, a variety of different ways. One way is to actually just use a regular digital thermometer. However, that's not a great technique if you're going to try to actively cool them because it's very difficult to maintain and find out what that temperature is as it's decreasing. So one of the ways there are things that we use is what's called the Datatherm 2. Uh, what this is, is it's a uh, temperature probe that gives us a very accurate reading that allows us to um, uh, get in a fairly good distance um, into uh, the rectal area as, as well as keep it there while we're doing the active cooling. So this is what the Datatherm 2 looks like. Um, it's just a very small device. Uh, you just turn the on button um, on and the digital readout will start showing temperature. Uh, one thing that's important to note is that the default on this particular one is that it always measures in Celsius and so you would want to make sure that you know how to change the mode button to Fahrenheit if you didn't know what that conversion was. Um, our uh, problematic temperature is always anything over 102 degrees. So if they are above 102, we're going to actively cool them with cold water immersion down below 102, and then that's when we would take them out of the active cooling. So if you see a, a reading of 103, 104, 105, that is an emergency situation where we need to actively cool them as quickly as possible. So the way that we do this is that there is a um, jack that we um, um, insert the actual probe in, kind of like uh, you would do um, uh, for uh, a headphone. So it just applies directly right into there. And this should actually start measuring the temperature as long as you have it on. So it would very quickly turn to about 70, 75 degrees, 80 degrees if you're outside, whatever that temperature might be. So then what we're gonna do is we actually do have to get access to the area. So we've got our uh, mannequin here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna simulate that we're gonna roll them uh, directly onto our side. Uh, this is certainly a sensitive procedure. You wanna make sure that you're taking every modest uh, precaution as you possibly could. You might want to have some uh, kind of uh, partners or assistants uh, with some towels help to kind of plot, uh, block and protect the area just to make sure that you're maintaining uh, modesty and privacy for the particular um, athlete. Uh, this is not certainly not a painful procedure, but obviously it, makes it might make them a little bit uncomfortable. 
Uh, you can, if you want to, apply a little bit of lubricant jelly on here just to make sure it um, inserts a little bit smoother and easier. We want to make sure that we gain access um, to uh, the bottom so that way we can actually insert this uh, directly into the rectal area. So we want to find where that actually is and then just insert the probe into the rectum probably about 6 to 10 inches. Once that's inserted and in, we should immediately start to see a change in the actual temperature. Uh, it measures fairly quickly. Again, if it gets up above 102, we're gonna roll this individual down. We're gonna place them into our cold water immersion system, and we're gonna wait till this temperature gets down uh, below 102. Then we would take them out of the active cooling and monitor their condition. The probes would stay in, allows us to get whatever that fluctuation is up and down. So if we need to reactively cool them, we could. If we need to take them out, we can. And we monitor, we manage any other situation uh, that we might find. Um, if they stop breathing, we would, we would manage and monitor that. If they go into cardiac arrest, we would manage and, and manage and monitor that. But through the probe process, we're constantly measuring active cooling. Uh, hyperthermia is a cool first before transport type of situation. So even if an ambulance came, they would not place them into the ambulance until we actively got their temperature cooled down. So you wanna make sure that you get that done as quickly as possible. So that way you can transport them directly to the emergency room. The reason for that is once they get into the ambulance, there's no great way to do an active cooling you know, situation. So they just have to get to the emergency room as quickly as possible.